I would hope that I can truthfully say that I can take some credit into really having a huge impact on helping her maneuver through some really difficult times in life. Hello, and welcome again to the Pathways podcast, where we explore different careers in the Quebec City region. I'm your host, Susanna Tang from Voice of English Speaking Quebec. Today, I'll be speaking with Sharon McLeod about her work as a nurse. Sharon has been working for Jeffrey Hale Community Services as a school nurse for 12 years. She really loves it, and it shows. What does that actually mean when you say you work as a school nurse? Like, I imagine somebody who's there to kind of help them with little cuts and scrapes. Is that what you do? <laughs> it's funny because that's what that's what everyone thinks, but absolutely not at all. In fact, the school nurse really is in charge of more educational issues. The vaccination programs are really big. I go into the classrooms. I teach issues related to contraception, sexually transmitted infection. And um, one of the parts of the job that no one would ever think is a really wonderful part that I do a lot is just meet with the teens and talk. Um, oftentimes, teens just need someone who they might connect with. And if I'm that person, I love to have them come in my office and talk about what's going on. It's so clear that you love your job. How did you know that nursing is what you wanted to do? I actually had an interest in going into nursing uh, really at a, probably in my teens. And it's because I was going to, this was in California, by the way, I was going to uh, volunteer at a place called Planned Parenthood. And I just absolutely fell in love with the environment. And the, the people who ran the clinics at the um, Planned Parenthoods were nurse practitioners. Here they're called Infamiere Practitioner Specialize. In other words, nurses who have a master's degree. So there's, and they often specialize in something in a specific area. Like for example, in the Planned Parenthood clinics, they were specialized in women's health. So I absolutely fell in love with that. So Sharon's initial plan was to get her bachelor's in nursing, work in a hospital setting for a few years to develop her clinical skills, and then go back for her master's to become a nurse practitioner. Here, she talks about other nursing jobs she's had in the past. I ended up getting a job in a hospital and I worked for a, a couple of years. In fact, a few years, I worked in what's called med surge, which is sort of a general floor. And then I, then I moved on and worked in acute care for a, a geriatric acute care. Uh, very, very hard work, very uh, complicated, lots and lots of uh, dressings and skills and IVs and stuff. And uh, then finally, finally, some of the specialty areas were opening up to train. So I ended up moving on and became a high-risk uh, perinatal nurse. So meaning I dealt with all of the women who were pregnant coming in, either pregnant and not wanting to deliver because it was too early or delivering um, and having difficulties, complications. So it was a high-risk similar to what we have here with the Schul, the Centre Mère Enfant here in Quebec City. And I did that for a while. After marriage and kids, Sharon didn't pursue her master's, but she did continue to work in nursing. At one point, she was even offered two jobs and had a tough decision to make. So my choices as to what kind of work I wanted to do really changed. And school nursing, the offer that I got at the same time, was very, very different than the offer that I had at the, the Centre Mère Enfant. In other words, at Centre Mère Enfant, they wanted me to work um, in at nights, evenings, weekends, holidays. I wouldn't have had seniority, so I wouldn't have any sort of a choice in the shifts that I would be working. But yet I was I went into motherhood in, later in life. I went into my career later in life as a nurse. Um, it's been a really hard, hard life for my family to have me be away during evenings, weekends, and holidays. So I opted for, rather than go back into what I really love, I opted for something very, very different than I ever thought I would have done. And it turned out to be a fantastic choice. Did you catch that? Sharon brings up a very significant point. When making decisions about your career, you also want to think about balancing your home life with your work life, and that can be a real challenge. Next, I wanted to talk to Sharon about some of the other challenges of being a nurse. I expected her to talk about the long hours or the night shifts, but instead she surprised me and went in another direction. 
Well, the, a, a lot of things make it difficult and challenging. Uh, one of which is finding what within nursing really suits you, really suits your career goals, really suits your strengths and your challenges, maybe you would call them, because everybody's different. And that is what is amazing about nursing is there are so many, many different choices you can make. For example, I would probably never want to go into nursing for an insurance company because it probably wouldn't be very personable. Some people may love it because it would be more of an administrative role. So that wouldn't suit me. I always wanted to do something that was real people-oriented. The job that I had working in a hospital when I spoke earlier about the first job that I had in med surg and in acute care, that job was really difficult, even though I, I liked it, but it was really, really difficult, very busy, very task oriented. You didn't have a lot of flexibility and you didn't have a lot of time to really relate on a real personal level enough with your, with your patients because you had a time constraint to get all of the things done that you needed to do in a shift. So that didn't appeal to me as much as developing the relationships that you might develop in, for example, the job I have now. And the rest of it, boy, it could really depend. Like you may have a nurse who who likes high high energy, high you never know what's coming around the door next. So you might have your your trauma center nurses working in the ER trauma centers. Uh like L'Enfant Jésus here in Quebec City, that's a trauma center. So that would not appeal to me at all, at all, at all. <laughs> too, too stressful. I, I, I like the peoples, but I don't really want the stress of the trauma. Somebody might want to travel, and that's really, really what's important to them. So they, they, don't, they may not have a children or a family, or their children and family can travel with them. So they may sign up for registry nursing. So they may spend two months in Arizona, or they may spend two months up north in the Inuit community, or they may they may want to be a flight nurse. Um, my brother is a paramedic in California, and he had a job not that long ago as a as a paramedic, as a flight helicopter paramedic, and his partner was a nurse. So I think it really, really depends. You know, each person is going to have a different definition of what's difficult for them. The thing Sharon wants you to remember is that there are many different jobs as a nurse. So the real challenge is finding the right fit. For Sharon, that's a job where she can really connect with others. I think we can all agree that being caring and compassionate are qualities we typically find in nurses. But what are some other qualities a good nurse should have? I can't imagine any nursing career, any nursing job, let's say, I can't imagine any of them that wouldn't require you to have an eye for detail, no matter what you do, whether you're working on a cruise ship, seeing patients, whether you're working in the job that I'm doing, where I really have to be very detail-oriented because of the, the, the kind of work, like, for example, setting up all of the vaccination clinics, the research goes along with with that, looking at the records, details. And then when you get into hospital nursing, it's the, 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 the specific tasks that are required for keeping your, your sterile field when you're doing dressing changes of, of, and the obvious, administering medications. So I, I think a nurse really needs to be detail-oriented. Can you talk a little bit about the hours of work? We tend to hear that uh, hospital nurses work a lot. Is that true? I think it, it I think it depends. It depends on the times. It depends on the department that you work in. When I was working in, let's just face it, I'd never worked here in Quebec in a hospital setting. But I know in um, I know that the the Saint is always very busy. Apparently, I gosh, I think they work tw- eight hour shifts here. So you've got three shifts of eight hour. Mm-hmm. A lot of hospitals, the hospital where I was uh, in in San Francisco was a 12-hour shift. Most of the nurses who worked there loved it because they would work two or three 12-hour shifts and have four or five days off. So, boy, I I saw a lot of matinees in the middle of the day on my days off because at that point I was single. I had no children, but I was three days, three three 12-hour shifts, and that was considered full-time. So some nurses really, really like to work night shift. They don't want to work day shift because the night shifts just have a different feel to it, a different pace. 
I think one of the things about nursing that in general is really appealing is a lot of times you can work part-time. I have to admit that through most of my career as a nurse, I have worked part-time and really appreciated it. But yet for most of my career, I've had the opportunity, if I wanted to, to work full-time. That sounds good. But what about working overtime? If you have a part-time job, you don't have to work full-time unless... There are exceptions. If you're in a hospital and the nurse who's supposed to come in and replace doesn't show up for whatever reason, you are obligated legally to stay. You cannot abandon your patients if you're in acute care setting of some sort. So you do hear in the news sometimes where a nurse is forced to work longer hours than he or she may have intended. That has personally never happened to me in my entire career. And I've been a nurse since 1994. Thanks for clarifying that. Switching gears, we also want to talk about the ability to work in English. Getting a nursing degree gives you lots of opportunities to work in English, particularly in Quebec City. Well, absolutely. If you have, if you have French and English skills, I'd say you're always much more desired than if you don't. I know that where I work specifically as a, uh, oh, that was my cat if you just heard a little meow, Um, specifically here in Quebec City, to have a bachelor degree nurse and a bilingual bachelor degree nurse, you are really in demand. Jeffrey Hale Community Services is always looking for nurses who are bilingual as is probably the hospital as well too. But but, uh, again, the area where I work requires a bachelor's, not all areas of hospitals. Most most hospitals don't require, here in Quebec City area, don't require a bachelor's degree nurse unless you wanted to get into probably management or that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, having having English is the, the, the international language of medicine. And if you speak English, it's much, much easier to be able to get a job worldwide, you know, as well as in Quebec City. But in Quebec City, you have to, you do have to have French in order to to get your license. For example, I took my English boards, they're called boards to become a to have license. I took my boards in English with the OEEQ, Ordre des Infirmières Infirmières. I took it, my, my test English. And then they give you a certain period of time in order to pass the French proficiency exam. And I, I don't, it, you know, it's been a while, so I can't remember, but I believe I had two years before. So plenty of time where you could get a job, start working and continue to work on skills too. So I appreciated that. And to conclude, here is Sharon with some final thoughts on why you should go into nursing. Really something that I stress when I talk to to anybody who's looking into going into nursing, that you can really be any kind of person. You can choose whatever you want. And if you don't like it, you find something else. If you don't like the stress, you find something else. If your lifestyle changes, you've developed a family during that time, you can go and do something else. It's amazing in terms of the flexibility and the availability. And there's always a need. There's, I'm telling you, there's always a need for nursing. And that's all for this episode. Thank you again to our guest, Sharon McLeod, for her valuable insights. We would also like to acknowledge the Government of Canada for funding this initiative. Join us next time for our talk with Jessica Gauthier and Catherine Pilot-Coulombe about their work as lawyers. This is the Pathways Podcast, signing off. Until next time.